How's it going everyone and welcome back to the Enclave. So today we have a very interesting experiment. We are going to be finding out whether using citric acid or not using citric acid while cleaning your brass actually makes that big of a difference. So now some of you may know this already or have experimented with this yourself already. That's cool. For those of you who have no idea and all you see is a bunch of videos online telling you to use citric acid. Today we are going to find out how much of a difference it really makes. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are with pretty much everything we're going to need for our little experiment. We've got our hot and cold water in there. We have the exact same amount of cases shot on the same day. And yeah, I don't really know that we can get any more consistent than that. Um, so yeah, pretty much the only difference between that batch that we did over there and this batch over here is the addition of some citric acid. So I'm going to try and get, yeah, that's about a quarter, well, so I needed about a quarter of this spoon to get to basically the one-eighth uh, thing per gallon. That's one-eighth teaspoon per gallon. So basically with this I needed a quarter of that amount since this is only a liter of liquid. So here we go, we have our citric acid in and now we could pretty much just make sure that's all dry and then seal it up and get it going. Now I'm going to run this for an hour since I ran the first batch for an hour. So just to keep everything consistent we're going to do everything exactly the same. So one hour first cycle, rinse, deep prime, and then one hour second cycle. So oh, I suppose I should give this a shake since I did that with the first one. Let's keep it consistent and let's start one hour. So anyways, that is running. We will get back after an hour. Okay, so here we are, back after the first wash with the citric acid. And um, yeah, so far it's actually looking pretty promising, I won't lie. I have never used it, mostly because I just never got around to getting any. Um, but it actually definitely seems to make a difference. So we will get through the rest of the process and then once everything is dry and decapped, deprimed, etc and gone through its second wash we will get back to you or we'll potentially get back to you for the second wash but yeah anyways okay so we are back we've got pretty much everything set up here already got our hot water cold water our beautiful starlight detergent and then our small amount of citric acid. So again getting this all sealed up and we're going to run it for another hour after we have run the depriming cycle. So for those of you who haven't seen 
the video on the full process of cleaning the brass. You will see why I have no pins in there, etc. Why it's pretty much just the brass now and some cleaning liquids. So, go check that video out if you haven't seen it. Otherwise, let us get into the next hour tumble. And then once that's all dry, we will do a little side-by-side -side comparison. And, yeah, we'll be able to see the differences. To be honest already it's looking like the citric acid uh, does quite a bit of difference so we will see um, but yeah let's get to our one hour run and then we will be back Okay, and there we have it. We have gone through this process with both sets of brass. And I'm pretty sure without much effort, you guys will be able to tell that there is a very distinct difference between those two sets of brass. Um, yeah, obviously the one on the right is the one that just went through the citric acid cycle. And the one on the left is obviously not <laughs> and yeah i think without much zooming in and analysis and uh whatnot it's pretty clear to see that the citric acid absolutely does make quite a massive difference um yeah i'll be honest looking at this batch it certainly does look good i'm certainly happy with the primer pockets and whatnot um but yeah, I highly doubt I'll be doing a batch again without a little bit of citric acid added in because it just seems to take things to a whole nother level. Now we'll be real, when I started this, I did a fair bit of testing on soaps and times and temperatures of water and things like that. But one of the things I sort of discounted right away was citric acid. I just thought, okay, like how much can that really make a difference, you know? But uh, apparently, you know, you never stop learning and uh, today I learned that citric acid is one heck of an addition to brass cleaning. So, yeah, as always, I hope you guys have learned something. Perhaps if you do not use citric acid, potentially grab yourself a little packet or grab yourself a big batch, you know, whatever, it's up to you. One of those packets really will last you quite a long time though, but yeah, I will probably be picking up like a kilo bag of it at some point. Um, but yeah, as always, I hope you've enjoyed, learned something, and yeah, if you've got more time, check out another video here on the side, and yeah, as always, peace out.